Welcome to Spiritual Rockstar Podcast, where world-changing spiritual entrepreneurs come to deeply awaken the power within to bring forth their greatest purpose, to create massive awakened impact for millions of souls around the planet, while enjoying being in tune with all life and real wealth in all aspects of their lives. I'm your host, Daniel John Hanneman. And welcome, everybody, another exciting episode of Spiritual Rockstar Podcast. All right, so glad to be with you. Grateful to share meditation with you. We're going to get right into that meditation quite briefly. I promise you that today. I want to get right into the meditation as soon as possible in just one moment. Do you want to meditate and make money? Let it be simple. Let it be easy. Let it be fun. Go to yoursacredpurpose.com and get your free meditate, make money meditation today. All right, so we're going to get into this meditation. I'm inspired to do this. I'm creating some new content that's going to show up somewhere on the internet. Let me just put it that way. And uh, it is focused towards conscious manifestation. Eckhart Tolle has been talking about in that direction. So I don't want to give everything away. So I've been talking, I've been I'm creating some content around this subject. And it really just inspired me today to want to do a meditation. I've been getting some good feedback on one of the more recent meditations that I offered everybody. So we are so much more than what we understand uh, to be because we're not present enough. So through this meditation, the intention is to bring you into a deeper presence so that you can more fully allow what's really true for you to be true and allow that to emanate and radiate through you for your higher benefit. And of course, you know, beyond that, much more so for the highest benefit of all at the same time. So, and that it activates your fullness, your fullest and greatest potential, whatever that might be, right? That's already exists. It's already here now. If we were only to be fully embodied and connected or more fully bodied and connected at least. Okay, let's get right into the meditation today, all right? So if you'll just join me, take that nice deep breath. In through your nose, up through your crown, check up through your higher self, up to love, light, source, energy, up into the all in all. And as you exhale through your mouth, shoo, let this energy come back down through your higher self, down through your crown, chakra, down through all your chakras, through his body, through your work field, down through your feet, down through your root chakra, down to the core of the earth. So I speak these words in the I am. For everyone listening to my voice, as I recognize God, love, light, source, spirit is all there is. Grateful that life is the infinite presence that lives within me. Grateful to breathe deeply. Know that I am whole and well and fully accepted in the, the, the Christ consciousness or the oneness consciousness that I emanate from. And I know that as I tune into my heart space, I know that I'm at home. I'm at home with all life. I know that I know the deep presence inside my being is the interconnection with the deep presence of the life force within all life. From that life force, I know all is manifested automatically. As I'm connected to it, I get to enjoy it. I get to be at peace, simply being in this connection, enjoying all my life unfold, releasing old fears, doubts, mind patterns, concerns, worries of the little mind, allowing the greater presence within to guide and inform me so that I love and appreciate all of myself, including what I might call my little mind. Like a little brother, I love it, I love it. So I bathe, um, I bathe my mind in light. As I feel the light in my mind, I know in my heart and my soul and my deeper presence that it is choosing for me what is unfolding in my life. And simply by being in this connection, I'm aware of it. And I simply get to enjoy it. And it simply works upon the experience of my life all by itself. And it needs no enhancement. It needs no greater direction from my little mind. The 
that I'm fully supported from this presence and everything else comes directly from it. It gets organized easily within that little mind as may be desired or needed to organize myself in my life. Grateful for all the light that I can experience right here and right now. The, with an enlightened mind and an awakened heart and from the full presence of my being, the inner spaciousness within, I'm, I'm enjoying the life force that I am. Let myself be at peace. Let it an anchor drop through my root chakra down to the core of the earth. Knowing I'm safe, I'm connected, and I'm immovably here, always here and now. And I, that I'm well. I am the wellness from which that is life itself, from which all things emanate from. I'm grateful to enjoy that I'm anchored here in the shore of the infinite. I've never left it. That it does not preclude the fact that I'm here on a physical plane in this dimension. But I'm still in that infinite plane. I've never left it. There is no sin happening in this regard or in any regard. There's only life unfolding through me. And I'm feeling that. I'm acknowledging. I'm laughing. I'm loving my life. All the sense of folly that I've created in my lifetimes, I love and appreciate my, my, my fu the fullness of my humanity and my divinity within all of it, knowing that, that I am that I am is beyond all of it, and yet I get to enjoy all of it, and always right here and right now, in every moment. I get to enjoy my divinity and my divinity and my humanity and my creativity and the fullness of who I am at every level. Every layer of energy I experience as a multidimensional being, as an energetic being, as an emotional being, as a sexual being, as a sensual being, as a, everything I could possibly describe. I'm grateful to be anchored here in this reality Loving and appreciating all those senses is it allow those to deepen me in my presence, honoring my masculinity, honoring my femininity, honoring my sense of wholeness right now, down through my root chakra, down to the core of the earth. I'm rooted in the infinite plane and here on earth. And my deeper roots is in the infinite, yet I can lay my roots down here knowing it's one connected, really all one and the same. Just different flavors, textures, and colors that I get to experience of life itself. From this space, allow myself to know that I'm safe, I'm whole, I'm secure. All things are, are manifested automatically for my highest benefit and the highest benefit of all. From that place, I know the embodied love and bliss within my field is able to uh, just be present, opening to the spaciousness of life, to play, to create, to enjoy life, to have fun, to be enlivened every moment. To unwrap every moment is the gift of it is, exactly as it is already. Celebrating it, acknowledging it, loving it. And whether I want to manifest billions or billions or whatever, it is that my mind, okay, I knew I want this, I want that. I let the joy let the joy point the direction and way and enjoy my life. No matter how big or small, 
our mind perceives the moment to be. It's always in its fullness, always fully abundant, and far more than any quantity of money, any measure of relationship success, or health, wellness, or anything else. That it is whole and well in itself. That I can enjoy my life unconditioned and consciously manifesting the fullness of life with every breath. Knowing it allows me to be in a state of wholeness and wellness in every area of life. Finances, money, relationships, health, expression of purpose. That the enlivened big mission and purpose is able to be activated and, and generated and moved into expression because I'm connected, I feel the connection with the earth. And it's easy connected with the infinite, and it's easy. Thank you, God. There's a grounding for all of it. Now that I've established a grounding, it's easy. And I let it be so. I allow the sense of the power of who I am to rise within me. I am meant to experience the, the joyful sense of leadership and command of power, utilizing my gifts, my voice, the channel that I am as a light leader, as a spiritual entrepreneur, as one that's just on a mission to make a big difference. And yet, knowing it's already been fulfilled, it's already here now, not in theory, but in truth. With, from the presence itself that already knows that divine destiny is already unfolded. I've simply been embodied within the greatest possibility ever in my power, in my fullness, trusting the power to radiate and express and to share and to create clear necessary structures of energy and boundaries and focus and intentions that naturally arise from my true power through the power center, letting go of all cords to anything I would attach myself to that would drag my energy down. I'm unconditioned and unlimited. And my expression of the fullness of who I am, whatever that may be. I myself to experience the power of source God creation moving through that power center moving into action, into that bold action, whatever it may be. My imagination, my intuition shows it to me. It's perfect way, it's perfect timing. And I simply take the steps. To simply take the steps. No hesitation, no doubts, no fears. Just a sense of divine providence moving through me because I'm grounded. I'm in a light, full of energy and letting it happen. Put my signature on whatever it is I'm meant to sign off on in my life because I'm deciding on it now. Moving off of the old energy because I'm now stabilized. I'm fulfilled already. So I can just say yes to what delights my infinite self. Let it be a fact. Allow myself to experience life as a grand banquet, like a picnic. I'm opening up that, that picnic basket. I'm enjoying and providing brothers and sisters that we're meant to come together. We've signed contracts with each other. At some point, we're drawn to each other for whatever the reasons are. I'm grateful so, so, to, to be so present in my heart and my, my soul and my spirit. I manifest easily. Just it happens for me because I'm connected. The most loving, joyful, fulfilling life possible in my relationships, in my connection, in my purpose, and I'm manifesting it fully, with full love, full, full sense of my joyful, sacred heart. Let anything unlike the peace and the love and the joy that's in my heart to be dissolved and let my heart lead the way. Let my heart lead the way. My sacred heart leads the way, brings water to those that are thirsty 
brings nourishment to those that are hungry for what it is I have to offer. And though so many may seem to want it, I show up for that which I'm called for. Let the rest be as this infinite has all provided everything in the big picture of life itself. I play, I create, I give huge love to everything I'm guided to bring my love to. I love all and let all be well. Thank you, God. Let this energy flow through my throat chakra to speak up again to the sense of injustices in my life and, and simply eviscerating any sense of untruth within myself through my awareness, through my breath, through my speaking the truths that I'm supposed to, that I'm, that I'm been wanting to speak and those stages, those books, those formats that I'm, those classes, those ways that I've been being called to share my voice in those relationships and, and declaring what I want to declare in my life. I let it flow through my voice. No longer am I of concern about what others think. What they're thinking is there already. The only way to peace and liberation for myself and others is to speak up from the presence, from the truth, from the deeper space, clearing out that which is unlike the truth, letting the truth ring true finally, fully, to be fully embodied in the truth and speaking the truth, manifesting the greatest and highest good for me and all, on all levels of life, money, relationships, purpose, health, everything. Let it be so. Express myself all the ways that I know that have been speaking to me. I move into those actions. I express that energy through my throat chakra, through my being. I can lead the way. I can trust my voice far wiser than I ever realized far more capable than I ever realized. I make far greater a difference than I ever realized before. Now I just sense it, I feel it, I trust it in each moment. Let it have its way through me. Letting the presence speak through me. It is not I that speaks, the little me, but it's the, the trueness within me that lets it be so speaks through me. So I move with that and allow myself to be more deeply centered and present than ever before. Allow my mind to be clarified in the process as I'm connected with the infinite through my crown chakra, through my intuitive center, through my healing hands, through the transmitter that I am of love and truth that I have to the huge vision no matter how tangible, intangible, I have a huge vision of impact to bring into the world. I'm willing to describe and share with all those that are here to listen. And so I'm grateful that I have ears to listen, that Source has ears to listen, and all is added on to me from there. The people to speak to it about up here. And I'm heard because I'm hearing myself I'm willing to claim my supervision, my super intuition, trusting this big vision, trusting the powers I have to be super intuitive and the healing power and force in the world. It violates nothing and simply activates energy of the fullness of life everywhere for a higher benefit for me and for all. Thank you. No longer seen as a thief or a charlatan or someone to accuse of being more powerful than others. I'm simply here to reveal power within all. He gives to all. I use my gifts to activate this for all. I'm safe, I'm well, and thriving. I let this energy flow through my crown chakra, illuminating and lightening my being, energy being, knowing I fully trust the connection with source to guide me into action and steps that are are maximally fun and joyful and innovative, creative, 
along the way. I have so much fun and I take just the simple steps as well. Grounded, simple steps allow me to breathe easy, to take extraordinary care of myself. So I stay connected to the higher guidance and the higher dimensional realms. I allow myself to harness it and integrate I, the energy from the higher realms into my energy and my awareness of being. However that wants to happen for me, I let it ground and land. I'm ready to fly. Sense of great fulfillment and trust. I am provided for that I'm always connected. Never lost that connection. Always been worthy, always been one with source. I'll come back to that connection to beyond all concepts of, of, of having or lacking. Instead, it all simply is here now. I'm connected with all of it. I'm in my fullness now, my full connection, fully grounded, fully integrated. I allow myself to allow more of the good, good, full of goodness in the full receptivity, the full digestion, of the light within my energetic and physical body, it's grounding and landing, allowing the fruits to experience my soul have an experience here in this physical dimension here on earth and beyond is already here. I'm simply enjoying it now, tasting its sweetness in each moment. So let it be so, I, I'm so grateful that it works this way. I am one with that which is invincible unwavering, clean and clear, always. I let the rest be released and let it be. Knowing I'm whole and well always now and forever, as I always have been. I release any shame, guilt, fears, concerns. I release those to the infinite. And they're already, already near nothingness ultimately, I can simply allow the sense of love and grace into my life to, to, to soothe me and to have a sense of emotional, spiritual, physical healing in my life. So I can be free to get up out of this chair, to get out of this chair, to walk, to move, to have the strength, physically, mentally, emotionally, at every level to move forward. I trust source God is moving through me to let it be so. So let it be so. I let it fully digest and land and ground the highest good for me and for all. So let it be so. I let it be done. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. Okay, everyone, as you come back into awareness here into the to your room, you can come back in the way that feels well for you wiggling your toes or you're moving your legs or all of that. Gently opening your eyes when you're ready, coming back fully into full awareness of your physical dimension while you're still continue to experience the fullness of who you are now and forever. So grateful to have shared with you today. I hope you enjoy this meditation. Please download it and continue to listen if you really enjoyed it and pass it on to others. I'm so grateful for all of you. Grateful for the blessings that have uh, come our way. Uh, we were able to open up for today. Join me at the Rock Your Sacred Purpose Facebook group if you'd like to receive direct messages and channeled guidance from me, go to Rock Your Sacred Purpose Facebook group and go ahead and it has to be um, included. And as long as you answer the three, there are two or three questions or whatever, go ahead and get you on board. You want to rock your sacred purpose, you want to be a spiritual rock star, go there. I do a Facebook Live every Monday at 3 p.m. Central where I answer 
some questions live. I do some channel channeling and energy scans, tune into you and give you what it is I can within a period of time, a short period of time on my Facebook Live. Okay, everybody, I'm so glad. I look forward to seeing you there. Also go to yoursacredpurpose.com, get your meditate, make funny meditation and so much more and enjoy. Okay, much love and blessings. Goodbye for now. You're listening to Spirits for Rockstar podcast. Stay tuned for our next upcoming new episodes each Wednesday and Saturday. Please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review to help us to serve you best. As a reminder, you can get your free Meditate and Make Money meditation at www.yoursacredpurpose.com to rock your sacred purpose. Goodbye for now, everybody.